Hello everyone. Welcome back to channel Edu Pharmacy. Today I will show you how to handle or how to use the Brookfield viscometer. This video will demonstrate the standard operating procedure of Brookfield viscometer. So do watch this video to the end. We have a digital LVDVE model as you can see here. It is a rotational bob type viscometer. This is multi point viscometer. You can use it to measure the viscosity, to get the consistency curve or to study the thixotropic behavior of any liquid or semi solid sample. Let's look at the parts of it. We have already assembled the instrument. Here is the DVE head part attached to the upright rod by clamp assembly. The rod is fixed on a base. Here a gear screw is given which makes the provision of up and down movement of the head part of the instrument. At the top of the head level indicator is given and at the bottom coupling nut is provided to which we can attach a spindle. On the face of the DVE instrument, you can see a display screen, speed spindle switch, select knob, motor on off switch and auto range switch. Let's come to the operating procedure. The first thing you need to do is level the instrument. The level is adjusted using the three leveling screw on the base. Adjust so that the bubble level on the top of the DVE is centered within the circle. Now you are ready to power up the instrument. Switch on the main power supply. Turn the power switch located on the rear panel to the on position. This will result in the screen displaying. Next is the spindle selection. A spindle is stainless steel bob which is again an important part of this instrument. There are so many types of spindles that shall be provided with the instrument. This model is provided with a set of four spindles. You can start with a spindle of any size. The selection of spindle is totally on a trial error basis. You can always make an adjustment according to the sample and viscosity readings. Spindles can be identified by the number provided on the side of the spindle coupling nut. The spindles are attached to the viscometer by screwing them to the male coupling nut. To attach the spindle, slightly lift up and hold the coupling nut, then screw the spindle clockwise. Be sure that the motor is off before attaching the spindle. The auto range key allows you to determine the maximum calculated viscosity possible with the current spindle speed setting. Pressing the key at any time will cause the current viscosity display to change and show that maximum viscosity. The screen torque will now display 100%. This maximum viscosity and 100% value will be displayed as long as the auto range key is depressed. Let's move towards setting the parameters. First, you must set the spindle number. Shifting the speed spindle switch to the right position will allow you to adjust the spindle selection. The select knob can now be rotated until the desired spindle number is selected. Here we have attached spindle number 63 so it must be set to 63. Shifting the speed spindle switch to the left position will allow you to adjust the speed selection. 
The select knob can be rotated until the desired speed is selected. There are 18 rotational speeds available on the DVE viscometer ranging from 0.3 to 100 rpm. Once the desired speed is shown on the display, set the spindle speed switch to the middle position. Once you turn the motor on switch to the on position, the viscometer will rotate the spindle at the selected speed. A motor on condition is indicated on the display by RPM shown beside the speed. When the motor switch is in the off position, off will be displayed beside the speed. After parameter selection is been made, you can go for viscosity measurement. To analyze the viscosity, take a sample in a suitable container and submerge the spindle in the sample by rotating the gear screw anticlockwise. Submerge the spindle in the sample in such a way that it doesn't touch the edges and bottom of the container. Now turn the motor on switch to the on position to observe the readings on the screen. A screen displays percentage torque and viscosity in centipoise. Consider the readings as a final once they get stabilized. The percentage torque must be in the range from 10% to 100% for any combination of spindle speed rotation. If percentage torque is below 10%, it is considered as under range you may increase RPM or select a larger spindle. When percentage torque readings exceed 100%, it is considered as over range. The display changes and show error as you can see. You may decrease RPM or select a smaller spindle in this case. Once you do the measurement, turn the motor on switch to the off position. Raise up the spindle from sample by rotating the gear screw clockwise. Clean the spindle with distilled water followed by wiping it with tissue paper. And finally unplug the machine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, thanks for watching.